Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about Same Motel and some creative direction that I did for their uh, new tour art, their single art, uh, updated logo, uh, lyric video, and all the marketing assets that accompany those, so here we go! I've been a fan of these guys for a long time, uh, way before I even started to work with them. So getting to work with them on this and getting to kind of do what I do to uh, you know, assist them was a really surreal and cool process. You never really know what it's gonna be like when you work with an artist who you kind of have a, a uh, preconceived idea about. But man, these guys are so much fun, so cool, down to earth, and they're all really good artists like like all around, musicians obviously, uh, but also um, uh, uh, filmmakers and designers, and just they have a very well-rounded um, creative sense about them. So we've talked about this a lot on the show before, but there's a lot of artists and bands who I work with who, when it comes to creative direction or designs, they just want to see a couple different options and then choose one. Maybe, you know adjust a font here and there, or color, but um, that is not the way Same Motel is at all. These guys are like super hands-on with it. AJ, the singer, really has a very uh, strong opinion on, on how he wants these designs to look and feel and move. So it's really, really fun to work with an artist who, who already kind of has this, this vision for how he sees this stuff play out. So ultimately, once we got kind of a look and a feel and an aesthetic that we all liked, um, I knew it was time to bring on the right designer. So when you bring on a designer, it's really important to think of somebody who you can use for the long haul, right? Like you you don't just want to hire a designer and have them do a one-off graphic here and there and then bring in somebody else to do another graphic and so on and so forth. You really want somebody who's going to be with you through this entire rollout and through the entire process because their vision for it is going to play in very heavily to the identity of this entire rollout. So I really wanted to make sure whoever we hired was somebody who could kind of accomplish all of these tasks. We looked at a couple different designers, but ultimately I pushed really hard for a guy named Aaron Seufer. I've worked with Aaron on a few different projects in the past. Um, he's an artist, but he's very proficient in Blender and Photoshop and After Effects and all the things. So Aaron seemed like the right fit. So the first thing that we really needed to do for this was to do a revised logo. Not that there was really anything wrong with the current logo, but we did want it to feel a little more synergistic with the rest of the rollout, which we'll talk about here in a second. But so as you can see, we started here with this logo and then ultimately revised to look like this. So it's not a huge change. Um, it just feels a little more fun and it's gonna vibe more with the aesthetic that we were going for with this. So the band's tour is called The Award Show. We kind of wanted to have that that kind of like 1950s, 1960s, old Hollywood charm and glamor to it. So uh, we looked at a bunch of different poster art from, from Oscars back then. Um, Aaron did a couple comps in different directions, but ultimately, once we did this gold statues thing, that just kind of felt right for all of us. Uh, Aaron modeled the band together in Blender and then finished the design elements in Photoshop, as you can see here. The gold and the red, it just, it, it felt classic, it felt right, so um, we were all excited about that. And then once that was out, we needed to move pretty quickly to single art. So um, same type of deal, wanted it to feel kind of throwbacky, kind of uh, retro, vintage. Um, we tossed around a lot of different in inspirational images and everything that we were kind of putting back and forth was this kind of like Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys kind of book covers. So we decided to kind of explore that more for the art. Did a really cool thing here. Aaron, uh, as you can see again, like he knocked this out in Blender, went went back in, touched it up in Photoshop, but, but everything was his own designs, hand painted, hand sketched and everything. As you can see, man, Aaron just killed these. These are super, super cool. So throughout all this, obviously there was like a bunch of marketing assets. There was, um, you know, a tour promo video. I'm going to link to all of that stuff in the description if you guys want to check it out. And then the most recent thing that we have done and accomplished on this was um, a lyric video. We wanted something that felt really in line with the song. Um, and the song is about how everybody's a guru now, how everybody's trying to sell you a quick fix. So AJ had the idea of doing something where it was kind of more infomercially 90s based. So we did, you know, blue screen here, uh, as seen on TV, credit card info, all that. So AJ and the guys each filmed their own parts to it and then kind of threw in some fun stock footage here. So there's kind of a uh, deep dive into St. Motel's branding and creative direction for the award show tour and single art. So if you guys are enjoying this content, please do me a big favor. Please like and subscribe and click that bell button. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what's working, what doesn't, what you guys want to see more of, what you want to see less of. I am always listening. Um, need you guys help to grow the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.